Hey traders, Roggy here. I got a lot of great feedback, so thank you to uh, those of you that reached out either in Charts and Coffee or in one of the rooms that said, Rog, we're getting the hang of this minor low pattern. But did we have two of them in Tesla? And are there any more that are catching your eye? So let's dive into it. We're looking at daily time frames, and we're looking at that minor low pattern. So just to refresh everybody's memory, we're, you know, minor low is a lower low surrounded by two higher lows, right? So you have your lower low here and surrounded by two higher lows on either side of it. We did have a minor low candle right there. Here's your two higher lows and it did break the resistance right in there. So let me, let me zoom in a little bit and show you one more time. So uh, let's zoom in a lot. All right, here we go. This is on Tesla. Here's your lower low. And here is your resistance right in there through the high, the high of that candle. And once we took out that resistance by trading through it, that's the confirmation of the minor low pattern. And in that momentum, that, that very, very fresh momentum, what we're looking to do is get long Tesla calls. Okay. We, we actually created another pattern. And by the way, for those of you that are wondering, Rog, where's the stop on those Tesla calls? Because we, we get the pattern that triggered it, but where's the stop loss? Well, if you've been following my work in any, in any way, you know that I look at what's known as a paper cut stop loss, where I'm going to risk a certain percentage of uh, the call. And even though, uh, you know, now remember, we bought through the threshold in this area, we did move a little bit lower. So not only were those calls able to handle that paper cut percentage threshold, we got another opportunity. And there's your minor low signal. That's your lower low surrounded by two higher lows. This is either a separate signal or it's maybe the first one you got. Maybe you missed this one when we were talking about it and you ended up getting the one on the sixth instead. Same thing. So yes, two of them did occur. Those of you that had asked about that good eye and there's the, once again, resistance. And once again, there's your, your follow through. And actually this time the follow through uh, is working a whole lot better than the first minor low. So two, two opportunities to build long calls. And I'll, and I'll usually keep a paper cut of about 25% of premium paid. So I, I have a premium paid based or percentage of premium paid based stop. The idea behind that is, and, and a lot of folks ask, Rob, you don't use the, the max debit? No way. No way. So even though I'm buying a call, you know, even though we're looking, this is what we talked about for a couple of these free videos. Even though the idea is to buy a call, I never will risk the total amount of the call on the trade because frankly, if we start to accelerate through either one of these lows, at some point we're gonna be down 25%, at some point we could even be down 50%. Gang, from my experience, when you're long a call or long a put and you lose about 50% of the value, there's one of a few things that have happened. One, you're, you could be running into a time decay issue, right? Two, the trend could have absolutely upended and you're no longer on the uh, trend or the oversold or overbought end of the entry zone. Or, or three, it's just one of those things where you're just wrong and maybe we lose 23, 24, 25, boom, the stop loss is hit. You're not gonna sit through 30, 35, 40, 40 50 or more percent because what I've found again is once a position, a long call or a long put loses half of its value. The probability of it coming back for those aforementioned reasons, especially a trend reversal or time decay, it's very rare they come back. It's a lower probability. Does it come back? 
Every now and then it does, and, and that's why a lot of traders hang on to the max debit hope of as long as it's not expired, it could come back. But that's actually risking usually 50 to 75% more of your money than even need be. All right, so never on the max debit. So 25% paper cut got me through, and this dip here on the 6th, second minor low pattern triggering as we broke 276 and and this is where we're looking at follow through all right so then the qu another question was okay rob do we get two minor lows absolutely are there minor lows anywhere else we're getting a minor low confirmation right now today thursday as the s p futures have broken through 39.89 we're getting the nasdaq NASDAQ is also, take a peek here, let me get this Fibonacci out of the way. There's your lower low. Today's candle, boom, there it is. That's really what I want to make sure that we don't put in a lower low here, right? This has got to be the low that it has to be holding. So as long as you don't take that low out and we break the high, boom, there is the, the trigger. So the NASDAQ's doing that today. Uh, a lot of folks have asked, Rog, what about crude oil? Crude oil took it on the chin. I'm not looking for a minor low here because gang, I don't really want to be long. So the question on crude, I get it, but this is a downtrend. And the trend that preceded the, the small bit of chop that corrected into the wave, well, that was a neutral market after a downtrend. So no, I'm really not looking at a uh, a minor low to buy into here. Notice the other two markets uh, were, take a look at Tesla one more time. Look at the structure. Gang, look at the structure. Neutral, I don't mind to fade by. S&P also neutral, I don't mind to fade by. And look at the slow stochastic confirming that we're oversold. So very different structure. Thank you for the questions. That's Tesla, S&P, and crude and how that minor low pattern works in there. Very powerful pattern, really easy to recognize once you start training your eyes to that lower low surrounded by two higher lows. And by the way, can you do that when you're day trading? We'll talk about that coming up. Can you sync up minor highs and minor lows with HPMRs? Can you have a really simple pattern with a really clear overbought, oversold stochastic and volatility based support and resistance absolutely we'll do that in an upcoming video but for those of you wondering rock does that pattern work in day trading <laughs> you better believe it all right gang i'll see you in the next update hey traders Roggy from simpler trading thank you so much for watching this video be sure to leave a like and a comment below and remember subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update and when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.